Kids Bible Club! Boys and girls, my son Timothy, who's holding this camera, has just told me that Leeds United are drawn with Leicester City, and I love it when Leeds United are doing well. I'm also looking out at the big, big waves in the Irish Sea, and I love looking at those big, big waves. I'm glad I'm not in them, but I love looking at them. By the way, my wife Jane has just baked some beautiful chocolate buns. I've just had one and it was absolutely gorgeous. I love chocolate buns. Talking about this word love and talking about Timothy, I love my children. They're fantastic. And talking about Jane and making those chocolate buns, I love my wife. She's fantastic. But all of that peels into... It, it's it's not even near the love that God has for you, whoever you are this afternoon. And the most famous word, the most famous verse in the Bible sums it all up. And here it is, John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. You see, all sorts of things talk about love nowadays. We're coming up to Valentine's Day, and I'm sure some of you are hoping to get a wee card from someone. Well, I used to get them, but maybe not so much nowadays. And, uh, or maybe I never got one, I'm not sure. But here's, here's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, love from, and you never ever give away your name, but you put these on it. I'm gonna call these crosses. What do you think these crosses mean? You know what they mean, they're kisses, but I'm gonna say that this cross means love. So this means that I love you. And God has said he loves you when he sent the son into the world. So when Jesus came into the world, God loved you so much that ultimately Jesus would die on an old, horrible wooden cross for you. He would be crucified there for you. And when God let that happen, he sent the Son into the world to do that. He was saying more than anything else, look, whatever your name is, and he knows your name, I love you this much. I love you so much. I love your mum and your dad, your granny and granda, your aunts and uncles. I love everybody you know. I love the whole world. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And he gave him ultimately to die on the cross. So the cross says... I love you. When I was wee and in primary school, I really loved one of my teachers. I thought she was really brilliant. She was so kind and caring and I loved her. And one day when I got my homework back, I thought she loved me too. Because all my homework, she had put kisses all over it. And then when I brought it home and said to my mum, she said, no son, those crosses mean that you've done something wrong. So the cross can mean, I love you. But the cross also says that we've done things that are wrong. And so the Bible says that all of us, call, they call it, the Bible calls it sin, God calls it sin. And the Bible says we all have sinned and fall short of God's standard. So the cross says, I love you. The cross says you've done things that are wrong, they're sin. And the cross says that Jesus loves you so much that he went to the cross to die for your sin. That's how much God loves you and you and you and everybody that's watching this, your mums and dads and everybody you know. God loves you. You've done things that are wrong and the cross tells us that. Now what are you going to do about that? Because none of us can pay for our sin. The reason God loved the world so much and sent his son into the world was to die for their sins so that he could pay for their sin and he would die and so that they would not perish but have everlasting life. So how does that debt get paid? Well, when Jesus died on the cross, he paid all of that debt. One time, I had the most fantastic mini car. It was a beautiful yellow one. It had a big spot lamps on the front and really shiny all oil wheels. And I was really, really, I really loved that car. Talking about love, I loved that car. And one day when I was driving to Newton Orge with my brother in with me, I was driving too fast. And as I went round one of the corners on the road to Newton Orge, a Portaferry Road, that big wall of Mount Stewart 
almost jumped out in front of me. I went sideways on the corner. I couldn't get straightened up and I went straight into the wall and I wrote the car off. Now, I owed a lot of money on that car to the bank manager. And when I said to him I didn't have the car anymore, he said, well, you still have to pay the bill. So for 15 months after I crashed the car and I didn't have it, I still had to pay for the car because bills have to be paid for. And then after 15 months, I went to the bank manager and he gave me a final bill or a final statement. And he had put a big cross through it and it said at the bottom, paid in full. So the cross can mean this. The cross can say, I love you. The cross says you've done things that are wrong. We have all sinned and fall short of God's standard. But the cross, because Jesus said it on the cross, he said it is finished. And what he was saying was the price for your sin has been paid in full by me. Jesus was saying, I love you this much that you'll never have to pay for your own sin. You'll never have to die for your own sin. You, If you believe in what I've done for you, you will not perish, but you will have everlasting life. Now, one last thing. You might think I'm a really bad driver because I had another accident in my car. And I work in a hospital and I see ambulances all day long. And when the ambulance came to take my wife away at that stage, it had a big cross on the side of it. And I see ambulances in work all the time, uh, the, re the British Red Cross, and they always have this red cross on the side. And this cross says to you, look, if you need help, or you need healing, the hospital is the place for you to be. We will take you there. This cross means we're here to help and we're here to heal you. And you know what? Sin destroys our lives. And Jesus, when he died on that old cross, he loved you so much. He was paying for that sin, the wrong things that you had done. The cross says, I love you. The cross says you've done things that are wrong. The cross said the price is paid in full. And the cross says, Come to Jesus, come to me, Jesus says, and I will make your life so much better. I'll take away all the worry and stress and pain. If you're tired of living, come to me and I'll lift that burden off you because my yoke is easy and my burden is light, Jesus said, and I'm here to help you and to heal you. So boys and girls, do you know what? Jesus really wants you to know that he loves you that much today. So will you please remember this? as we're coming up to Valentine's Day, that all of that stuff that we're thinking about and enjoying and the cards and everything else, the real love that really matters is this love God has for you. For God so loved the world, that includes you because you're in the world, that he gave his one and only son, the thing that was most precious, the person that was most precious to him, that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in what he did for them on the cross, will not perish because he has perished for them. By the way, he rose again and he lives forever. But they will have everlasting life. Jesus rose from the dead and he wants you to live with him forever. That's how much God loves you. Please remember that this Valentine's Day. For you, for your mum and dad, for your grannies and grandas, for your aunts and uncles, everybody you know, everybody in your street, for the whole wide world. God so loved the whole world. God bless you, boys and girls. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Kids Bible Club!